Hi, I'm Dr. Tejas. Today we're going to explain the neuropathylator. So, the whole body, entire body, is controlled by the central nervous system. Right? Every gland, cell, organ must have nerve flow to it at all times. It must have 100% nerve flow if it's going to remain 100% healthy. In fact, the definition of health, Webster's Dictionary, is having 100% of your organs working at 100% of the time and that's conducted through the nervous system. Right? Now when we look at a spinal column from the back, it should be straight. If it's not straight, it will pinch nerves and interfere with nerve function. Right? From the side, it should have curves and it curves in, curves out, curves in again, so it can work like a spring. And with the risk of sounding a little bit religious with you, basically God made us perfect. All right? So with this design, perfect example would be if the nerves that went from someone's brain to their heart were cut, what would happen? Heart would stop, right? It would be over. Well, what if instead the nerves of the heart were pinched? Heart could never work at 100%. The heart would be sicker, not healthier, not in some cases, in all cases. So if then we detect that, pinch nerve specifically through diagnostics such as x-rays and start removing the pressure, the heart can become healthier again. Right? So everybody has laid out the same blueprint. Give you a little quick summary of this. Nerves in the upper neck go back up into the head in what we call cranial nerves. Common scenario there, headaches, dizziness, ringing of the ears, loss of hearing, a lot of possibilities. If any of those conditions are from a pinched nerve, we can help like nothing else can. If it's not through proper diagnostics, we know the right specialist to send that patient to. Lower neck, thyroid, has to do with energy levels, but also arms and hands. We go a little bit lower, heart and lungs, then we get into the digestive system. Stomach, gallbladder, pancreas, right? A little lower, a lot of nerve flow in the intestines because we have 22 feet of intestines, but if at any level in the intestine it doesn't have full nerve flow, can't be 100% healthy. And then down in the low back, this is nerve flow into the legs, sciatic nerve. But keep in mind, those nerves go all the way to the feet, so it can contribute to foot problems. Up higher, these nerves, by the way, from moral, go to the front of the legs, have more to do with the knees. But also in that low back, that is nerve flow of colon and rectum, so problems like constipation, hemorrhoids, bladder control issues, which can be quite a disability for people. But if it's from a pinched nerve, it's possible we can repair that or allow your body to heal. But then also uh, sexual dysfunction or reproductive dysfunctions can occur with pinched nerves down in that low back. So that's the summary of how that body is wired that diagram and the importance of having a brain that is 100% connected to 100% of your body cells at all times so you can be 100% healthy. Thank you.